Hi, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So let's see what we're doing in today's reading. So if you haven't already, please do like and subscribe to my channel um, for more readings. And also in the description box, if you would like to book a personalised reading, then please do let me know. That is available to you. So let's see what the overall energy of today's reading is telling us. So the first room that we have is Uruz. So grounding. So this might be a day where you're actually feeling like maybe pottering at home. Um, it's a Sunday today if you're watching this video at the particular day that I do this. So that can be a good day, you know, where you're cooking a meal or you're staying at home, um, maybe clearing up your space. Just things that make you feel very grounded, um, feeling very um, content in your environment is what I'm getting from this room today. And let's just see what other rooms we have around this today. Okay, we have Manas as well. So that with Urus, this is a time for really connecting with, like I say, that environment again. Um, it's actually probably without realising it, building a little bit of trust within yourself. Um, so a, Manas is about awareness of yourself. And I do feel like today you may have woken up with an energy of sort of like, I want to get things done today, but in a slow kind of way, in a homely sort of way, kind of sense. So some of you, you might actually be doing some decorating today, I'm feeling. I can see somebody painting, I can smell that smell. I used to love that smell when I was a kid, you know, when your parents would decide to shape up the living room or something and you'd have that smell of paint or like a newness kind of coming in. That's the energy I'm getting from that one today. And let's see, Hagalas. Now, <laughs> what you don't know is through this practice today of pottering around your home, doing things, there may be an energy where you're feeling like, oh, well, I haven't really got much done today or I haven't been anywhere today. But Hagalas is kind of signalling this is going to throw you into a sudden change. It's actually... You kind of collapse in an old timeline, ready to step into a new one. But things need to change at home before this can happen. But that's where your energy is headed through Hagalas on here. Um, and Hagalas to me, it does have a nice energy of completion to it. It's a little bit like the tower in the sense of it will... It's kind of like where perhaps things at home have been a little bit chaotic. Maybe you've got stuff everywhere. And through you having this opportunity of like, right, I'm going to get rid of all that stuff. I'm going to move this around. I'm going to clean this. It's actually freeing up that energy um, and allowing new opportunities to come in. And that's where I feel your energy. I do really, really feel that to you, for you today. So the collective that I'm talking to should resonate with you about home improvements. Okay. So I've got one of the feminine oracle cards here because I like the words that they give us. Um, some words make you really think about where you're at right now. Um, you know, maybe you have been socialising a lot lately and you just feel like you want some time to yourself right now or to just be at home in your space. I'm getting that a lot, like this somebody saying, like, I just want to be at home, I just want to be pottering around at home, have a cup of tea, that kind of thing. Okay, you must be, you must be very English. <laughs> got healer on the bottom there neglected so I do feel for some of you that neglected is where you perhaps feel like you've neglected things at home okay and some of you have a lot of demands on your time and on your life I feel um, you perhaps you have children or you have great responsibilities and maybe on a Sunday afternoon is the bad time for you some of you may be teachers in that sense. I just remember my mum was a teacher and I remember on a Sunday afternoon, that was a time where she used to feel really quite anxious about the next day, you know, about that Monday morning kind of feeling. So if that resonates with you, perhaps you are a teacher yourself. So have your Sunday, enjoy your Sunday, allow yourself to just connect. We have the word unconditional. I love this card, unconditional. It kind of reminds me of the Two of Pentacles. And that's all about getting balance. Um, okay, it's actually um, 
it does look like the wheel in tarot, to be honest, which is about completion and achievements and getting things done. And that's where I feel like your energy is today. You are in a good alignment for getting things done, for actually doing things. Unconditional is a tricky word, isn't it? Because many people do misunderstand what is unconditional. You know, people throw around, oh, somebody's got unconditional love for somebody else, but they don't truly understand what unconditional love is. So say, for instance, you know, the love between um, a parent and a child, you could call unconditional because whatever that child does, you still love them. Yeah, you've still got that love for them. Even if they did the worst thing in the world, you would still love them. So I do feel for some of you, there is this, you are becoming more compassionate for yourself. You are finding more unconditional love for yourself. You're starting to forgive yourself for things from the past is what I'm getting from this. Now, the turquoise colour on here is making me think about the chakras that we have. So you've got your throat centre. But then we have these energies that kind of connect us to our hearing, our spiritual hearing, our clairaudience, if you like. So we do feel for some of you, you are getting some clairaudience coming in. Maybe you're a spiritual person yourself. Maybe you work with spirit. And I do feel that you're being asked to listen to, like if you've got a high pitched frequency currently coming in through your ears, try and sit with that and listen to it because it is guiding you on what to do next. And if you feel very random about how you feel, say for instance, you feel like, do you know, I'm gonna pull a sickie tomorrow at work, okay? I didn't tell you to do that. <laughs> But there is an energy of being guided and just learning to listen to that inner guide. And like today is not a day for doing, today is a day for resting. Um, allow yourself to be guided by that and trust, trust in that process. Okay. I am going to pick an angel card as well before we go into the tarot. So let's see how that correlates with this as well. So feel free to go make yourself a cup of tea or coffee or whatever you have <laughs> while you're sitting watching this video, if you haven't already. Um, I always think with these videos, it's a nice time to sort of like just sit down and absorb it, take it all in, listen. And, you know, not everything's going to resonate with everybody. So, but there will be things in it that will resonate with you. So take what resonates. Don't try and make it fit though. Okay, take charge in action. So this is working with this unconditional love. So this is about working for yourself. Um, so like we say in that home environment, you know, you are the only one that's responsible for you and your environment. And it's very interesting how when you just start small, like you go in one room and you start on the left hand side of that room. And before you know it, you've done more than you ever thought you would. If you sit there pondering it, and you end up just procrastinating and you don't actually get the job done and then you're gonna beat yourself up. So this is about that unconditional love. Know when it's time to rest, know when it's time to take action, but I feel for many of you, today is the time for taking that action. And what it's going to happen is it's gonna bring inspired thought and action in the week to come. This week could be very, very profound for you in terms of energy-wise, things that you're gonna be doing, opportunities that are going to arise for you as well but you see you can't sit there wishing and hoping your life was different and not actually taking any action on it and through clearing your space through feeling at home with yourself is going to align you with the opportunities that are coming in so I'm going to have a look at the tarot now to see what are these opportunities that are coming in for you so we know what we've got to do. Today is a day of getting some cleaning jobs done, maybe some DIY done. Um, take that time to do that, you know, just be relaxed about it. It doesn't have to be a major mission. Just relax, even if you just do one tiny little bit, but it's gonna make you feel so much better. Even if it's just folding up that pile of clothes that you've got in the corner, yeah, and putting them away. <laughs> maybe I'm talking to myself there. Okay, so like I said before about the Two of Pentacles, this card really does look like the Two of Pentacles. And the Two of Pentacles is about juggling and trying to be flexible and getting more balance, basically. And this is what I feel for you is you've been very much in your work element. You've really sort of like doing so much in that 
So then when you come home, you're feeling like, oh, this needs doing and that needs doing, and you're struggling to find a balance between the two. So do yourself a favour, take some action today to bring about that balance. And again, like I say, if you need to take a little bit of time out to get these things done, does it really hurt to just throw a little sickie or something? But I didn't tell you to do that. <laughs> okay, I'm going to say that twice. Um, so you may need an element of flexibility here. Um, you know, I do see somebody that's kind of like juggling quite a bit at the moment. And like with anything, when we juggle, there is always the risk of dropping the ball, isn't there? I nearly said something else then, but I'm going to say ball. <laughs> Dropping the ball. Um, there's something about a purse or a bag with this. I don't know if somebody's misplaced a purse or bag. Um, so again, maybe that's why you have been guided to start clearing up your space, because you will find it if you start clearing up. It's been hidden from you for a reason. <laughs> that's what Spirit want me to tell you on there. Um... Yeah, okay, so, and we also have the Ace of Wands. So this is about new ideas and inspiration and things that you are manifesting. So again, through your inspired action, you are going to actually start manifesting what it is that you want. You have a new idea that's burning into your mind right now, that's about to come out. Um, but it's highlighting to you all the areas in your physical world that are stifling that inspired action. You know, that inspired thought and action is being stifled. So it may be for some of you, you know, if you're quite a creative person, perhaps you feel like your creative outlet has been blocked at the moment. I do feel for some of you that you're feeling that. So doing this house clearing um, movement of things, maybe paint that wall, tidy those clothes up, that kind of thing. You are going to bring in new ideas. So this is what this Haggalaz is teaching you on here. It's kind of like you're coming out of a time of contemplation now into action, into things actually moving forward for you. It's inspirational. I do feel that sense of inspiration around you at the moment and new ideas. It's a good time of the year for that though. Spring has always got that energy to it of like coming out of the dark into the light. The sun is returning. Um, we're starting to feel more like doing stuff because it's lighter at night time as well. So this is a good time for you to really light that match now within you. Light that spark. Let it go. So what else do we have? What is this new idea and inspiration that's coming through? What is this new idea and inspiration that's coming through? I need to get better at shuffling. You know, I watch some people that they shuffle so well. It's mesmerising and I feel like I shuffle like a, a horse galloping across a, <laughs> a path. Right, we have the Seven of Cups. Now, this, I believe, came out in the reverse position. So the Seven of Cups is all about, you know, looking at your choices, having lots of opportunities and lots of choices. And some of them with the Cups, this particular card doesn't show it, but some of them look like quite scary things and some of them look like really nice things. And it's somebody there sort of choosing what option to take. But as it came out in the reverse, I've got a feeling of self-doubt here. A feeling of somebody that doesn't actually recognise the fact that they have got options. It's almost like, you know, you have the ability to have a wishful thought, but you're not allowing yourself to think like that. Like you're not thinking outside of the box. You're thinking too sort of narrow with things on here. Um, but it can also be... Okay. You've played the game is what I'm getting from this. You've played the game for long enough now. And the game I'm talking about, so it reminds me of snakes and ladders. You know, so you go up the ladder and then the snake will come down. So it's almost like you feel you've been in a space of, um, you know, two steps forward and five steps back. And you're getting bored of that now. So over this weekend, something has driven you to go, right, I'm making a decision now. No more dissipating. I am actually going to make this decision. And I feel like, for some of you, you don't feel like you've got any choices on things. But then for some of you, 
this is about you have made a decision now. You're not anticipating the choice anymore. You are driven by this idea, by this thought, and you're driving it forwards. So let's have a look and see, for those of you that are driven by that thought, where is it taking you? Where is it taking you? Because Haglas can present the, you know, challenges that might crop up around this, um, but it's the challenges I feel are there to help you to grow further. Okay, I've got the King of Cups in reverse. So there are things around you at the moment that I feel are triggering you a little bit, maybe feel, making you feel um, <laughs> like, for instance, you are really observing yourself. And this is what Spirit wants you to know is recently you have been triggered by something or somebody. But instead of running out and trying to sort of tell that person, you know, how offended you are or anything like that, you've actually sat back and observed. You haven't reached out and reacted. You've just sat with it waiting to proact. So if that is you, well done, because you have really learned something about yourself there. You've come through another level. Um, there is some drama around some of you that you aren't allowing yourself to be part of. Maybe that's why you want to stay at home today. You're allowing it all to just unfold around you, but you're not involving yourself in it. Just be careful that you don't withdraw too much because of that. If there is a need to step into something, then step into it, but always find your peace within it is what I'm getting with this one. Um, but something around you is triggering you at this time. But it's remember, it's about that person. It's not about you personally. Okay, It is not specifically about you. It is about them. It is giving an energy of you wanting to sort of run away a little bit. Um, actually, what I'm getting with that is that this has kind of empowered and inspired your action to move forward. It's kind of driven you to step away from the drama and to move towards this new idea that you have. You really sort of took the mask off with Manaz on here, I feel like you're in this energy of taking the mask off and really seeing truly what is delaying you, what is holding you back, what is stopping you. And as you become aware of that, as you took the mask off, there is no going back now. You understand that, you know that. Okay, so let's have a look at the way forward then. So what do we have for your way forward? What does this person need to know about their way forward? What do we need to know about your way forward? You've had to forgive yourself for something as well. There's been an element of forgiving yourself. Because something was elusive. You were given an illusion and you believed that illusion. And now you're into a time of like, I have to forgive myself for that because I just did what I, what I thought was right at the time. So remember that. We are only human at the end of the day. And when we can put things right, we do. But it's not always, you can't always do that. The tower card just kind of flipped out there and went onto the bottom. Um, now, what I want to say with the tower is <clears throat> there's there's been a bit of an avoidant energy, and this is on the bottom, so I don't feel like this is something that's, you know, it's not impacting you in a major way, but it's something that's kind of sat there. There's been an element of a stalemate kind of situation, um, you know, where maybe you've been trying to get through to somebody, but they're refusing to change their way on something. Um, and they are perhaps becoming avoidant to the situation. What I want to say on there is that's a difficult situation because if you feel stuck by it or not able to move forward, it's very difficult. But you can't make people do what you want them to do. You can't make them see your side of things, okay? There is something that I feel you had to step away from, um, from the past. So we've got the Six of Cups and the Seven of Swords has come out again. So this is the second time the Seven of Swords has come out. Um,
I don't know why you had to run away from something or why you had to step away from something, but you are looking back in the past and you, I feel, I do feel an element of something that you regret and that you would like to mend, that you want to mend something or repair. Um, perhaps you're reminiscing about somebody that you want to be part of a team with, that you want to work with. Um, and I just keep getting this... Um, hearing like like I've blown it I just keep hearing I've blown it but what spirit is saying is like don't let that knock your confidence in moving forward if this is meant to be something that you work through then it will be worked through but right now you're being guided to step yourself forward on your path oh okay so hmm We do have an element of, so basically with the Nine of Pentacles, you are standing on your own two feet now. You're in a, a good place, really. But I do feel you are on your own. I don't see you with somebody at this point. But there is an element of wanting to have somebody that you give to. It's like you want to give something to somebody, but you want to have a balance give and take with them. So there's a fear around that, I think, of this person betraying you. Um, or not not holding you in regard um, I do see that there is you are the ace of cups if it was that way up this would be about a new opportunity potentially a new relationship that way up is like you're open to love you're open to a new relationship here you're open to something changing but there's been an element of having to work on yourself love it's like you need to work on forgiveness for yourself, compassion for yourself, that unconditional love for yourself before you can actually move forward with this connection, this particular connection. You do have some repressed emotions still, and I feel like it's around what we were picking up on there about something that you had to walk away from, um, that is from your past, but you're reminiscing about it Maybe in a rose-tinted way, but there's an element of it where you feel like maybe I didn't do the right thing in that situation or why did that person respond like that to me and made me react the way that I did. But you've learned a lesson here and that's what we were saying before about you've learned now with anything that's going on in your life at the moment about not reacting, pausing and then responding when you feel ready to. Okay, So there is an element of wanting to enter something here. I've got the lovers in reverse as well on the bottom of the pack. So there's lack of communication here. There's definitely a lack of communication with somebody that I feel you perceive maybe as a soulmate. Um, I want to look deeper into that now. So let's have a look at that. So what is that all about? Okay, this is something that you're hoping for and wishing for. It's like a relationship that I feel for some of you, I do feel this is somebody from your past, or it could be somebody that you have a crush on, that you like, um, but you don't necessarily, they don't know how you feel. I feel like this person doesn't know how you're feeling right now about this. It's like you, you aren't really expressing it. Um, but there is an opportunity and there is hope with this card. Okay. There is definitely an opportunity there. So what is the outcome of that for you? What is the outcome of this? this person? Okay, well, we've got the strength card, but it's in the reverse position. So there's an element of self-sabotage going on here. So what I want to say with that is if this is a situation where you want to rekindle something with somebody from the past, you have to find a new way of going about it because there's an element of self-sabotage that goes on. There is doubt around this and fear around this. Um, let me see. Why is strength in the reverse position on here? Okay, so <clears throat> I do feel, <clears throat> so this came out in the reverse position, the high priestess. So with that strength card in the reverse, there's doubt and fear around this because I do feel that people have been telling you things that perhaps aren't quite true. It's almost like they've told you things 
um, or there's been gossip that you've heard and it's created doubt in your mind or fear of moving forward with this particular connection, even though you're open to it, even though you, you would like it. There's been some, yeah, I don't want to say lies, but definitely secrets. And what it's done for you is it's kind of like created this energy of you believing those stories. Um, and I feel like, again, when we said about being triggered, this, this whole situation, I feel, has triggered you in many ways. But what, when you stepped away from it, I feel like you've still been triggered in other areas. So you're kind of thinking like, well, actually, was it that? Or was this something that I need to work on in myself? And I feel like it sent you on a path of like new opportunities and looking into yourself. Like a lot of soul searching seems to have gone on around this. So let's see, around that doubt then, what do you really want? What do you truly want from this? Okay, so how many just fell out there? Right, so we've got the Eight of Pentacles on here. So there's an opportunity here of um, gaining more knowledge and getting the detail. This is about facts. And what Spirit is asking you to do is go with just the facts. Don't take somebody's word as gospel. Don't take what somebody says as that is exactly the case. Because if you don't know all of the information, then how do you know it's true? And if you're working off of that, it could lead you down a rabbit hole. It could lead you down a space of like, you know, being very much in your head, very much in a space of, I can't deal with this, I can't cope with this. And it's affecting actually how you move forward. It's affecting what you are interested in. Um, you know, it's actually becoming somebody else's manipulative interests are becoming you're convincing yourself that they're your interests and they're not. This is what somebody else wants for you for their own benefit. Is it what you really want? Oh, yeah, we've got the Ten of Swords. So there is definitely things going on behind your back, I feel, to do with this. Um, okay. And what Spirit wants you to do is to take action on this because it leads to victory. So this sudden change that's going on here, this awareness that you are working on, you are now in a space of needing to take action with this and action leads to victory. So it's a very quick action, very, very quick action that's going on with that. Um, I also want to say I've got here that there's been some dishonesty. There has been some an element of that around you, like we were saying before. It's time for you to really start to, you know, take that mask off, see what's going on around you within that chaos. You know, when you step back and you see that people are still doing what they're doing and saying what they're doing without you being there, then you weren't really the problem, were you? Okay, that's what Spirit wanted you to know on there. And this is creating headaches for you. I can feel that. It's like someone's really up in their head about this situation yeah we've got that ten of swords card on there again so with the ten of swords it's holding you in a place of feeling like you've been victimized or you've been um manipulated you feel i do i do honestly think that you do feel that things are being said behind your back um or maybe you've been told that and it's made you want to walk away from something that actually it's killing you to walk away from, okay? So that kind of tells you everything. If you haven't been able to let go, then that tells you everything. It's interesting, we've got the unconditional card there and we've also got the Empress, which is also that divine feminine, unconditional love. Um, with the Empress energy, you know, this is about sort of like nurturing something and softening into something there's gentleness that needs to happen here definitely gentleness it's interesting we've got the devil on the bottom there as well because it's almost like you take something beautiful and often people are actually afraid of it or jealous of it 
and it opens up this triggered part of a person, perhaps with jealousy or with an inability to really see themselves clearly. Um, and, you know, when people see beauty, sometimes, you know, it wants to be destroyed. But an empress cannot be destroyed. An empress, you know, she attracts and she doesn't get involved with, she won't chase, she will attract. And this is an energy I'm feeling with any divine um, feminines out there. It's kind of like you are attracting in these positive things by sitting back, taking your own mask off, allowing yourself to be seen and just watching everything happening around you. Um, for the divine masculines out there, this could be your divine feminine. I feel for some of you, you've been sort of manipulated a little bit into not believing in this particular feminine. Um, that's what I'm getting from that. So anyway, let's have our final word on this. This is teaching you, though, to direct your energy where you want it to go. You know when you direct your energy in a specific way, what's coming up for you, how it works. You know you can manifest when you direct it, but right now it's a bit scattered. It's a little bit like this reading has been a bit scattered, hasn't it? We started off with one element, looking at environment and looking after things in that sense, and then this sudden change, which actually it does feel like it is a newness of a relationship. But the energy is very scattered with it. It's a beautiful day today. The sun's coming out very nicely. Oh, we have the two of cups on the bottom of there. Um, so the outcome of this is that there is a union that could be had. But there is things to be talked about. Maybe someone has to drop their pride a little bit on there as well. Um, let's have a look. But it's very slow moving because there has been an element of arrogance, an arrogance of gossip um, going on around this. And it's almost like you have to kind of like cut all of that, step away from all of that. Um, if you are determined, you are determined. And I do feel an energy of somebody is quite determined here, they just don't know how to go about it. So what is your next action meant to be? Friendship could be an element of that. So what is your next action meant to be? What is your next action on this? What is this person's next action? Okay, patience. We have on here um, patience. You need to be patient. You need to wait. You probably are screaming at me now going, well, I've been really patient. I've been waiting. Um, again, we've got that balance element on here, that balance give and take. You've got so many cards that have balance on them. We've got the six of pentacles, which is that balance of give and take as well. You've got the two of pentacles on here as well. And you've also got that unconditional love card, which also looks a bit like the two of pentacles. So there's a lot on here about balance, balance, give and take. So what I want to say with that is, if they were the last person to connect with you, then maybe you need to reach out to them. If you're constantly waiting to be chased, maybe you need to be the chaser for a minute. Or if you're constantly being chasing, then maybe you need to sit back and, and wait for a minute. So use temperance as you feel, but there is an element of it about, you know, working something through. It does remind me of... Um, the magician card sometimes on there but I'm just going to get a little bit more see if there's some extra words I can give you around temperance so yeah harmony is one masculine and feminine balance duality the fluidity of time okay so I do feel that you are already you know, using moderation and patience. There is no rush here. If it's coming from a soul level, there is no rush with this here. There is an element though, we have the chariot card coming through on there. There is an element of a need to take action with something, but it's almost like take action, but move with purpose and patience, okay? Move with purpose and patience. 
So we get an overall card on this, just to see. Okay, so what is the overall energy outcome of this? What is the overall outcome here? What is the overall outcome? Okay, I did not mean to do that. I dropped all the cards again, but one flew over here. Aha, uh -huh. okay, the overall outcome is to take a leap of faith. So this is moving you into a place of things happening. We have Haglas on there, which is kind of a quick energy of things changing suddenly, but not necessarily in a, in a negative way. Um, it can bring challenges, but I do feel like you are ready to take that chance now. You are ready for that. There is, I mean, this particular card doesn't have it in there, but usually with the fool, there's a little dog there, which to me is kind of like, you know, you've always got a loyal friend. You've always got some loyalty there. It's, it's okay to take a leap of faith on this. So I'm going to leave that reading there for you today. If you would like to book a personalised reading, we can be a bit more in depth and we can also look up specific things for you as well. Um, so do let me know. Please do like and subscribe to my channel. And I will speak to you again very soon.